So I'm Mo, and occasionally I unbox my book boxes with y'all. What's in this one? I really have no expectations since I don't know what months these are, so I can't guess or speculate or anything like that. But first, oh, I know what this is. This is a rag. This is like a house rag. I'm guessing the Night Circus. I think this is the Night Circus. It's like a little white rag with a circus tent on it. Cute, I like it, but I guess I could use it for something. I just feel like maybe it could be my, my shelf cleaner. I don't know. It's white though. I feel like having white rags is like, it's just gonna look dingy and disgusting soon. I don't know, we'll see what we can do with it. Honestly, I don't. I might not use it. Uh, it's practical, it has usage. I don't know what to rate this item. Mixed emotions. We'll rate it later. Ooh, I actually really like this one. Oh, I really enjoy these. Okay, this is a, a book sleeve. These are great, especially for travel and me who likes to just take my books everywhere I go. This is um, Every Person Has the Power. It's really Christmassy with the, well, technically it's circusy because it's like little circus tents and like cards and magic magician hats and tickets on it. But like, the colors are like red and gray and it just reminds me of Christmas, especially since the holiday just passed. Every person has the power to change their fate if they are brave enough to fight for what they desire more than anything. Stephanie Garber. Oh, is this whole box, um, Carvel? Carvel? Yeah. I think so. But I love these book pouches because I love carrying around my books, especially my special editions. I do read my special editions and I like something to put it where it's safe and I love carrying these because they are waterproof. This is not, this is like a plastic so water doesn't really get in here and it's lined with like this soft like almost like sweater material like the inside of your sweater inside very useful and I just love them for travel I like to take my books everywhere with me so five stars for that I just wish the pattern was more neutral or met my color aesthetic but outside of that five star item great oh I already know I'm gonna love this I already know I'm gonna love this. This is a um, bookends, and it's circus-themed bookends. It looks like um, merry-go-rounds at circuses. So cute, I like it, it's black, it's neutral. We'll go with many people's bookshelves, especially if you like black. I don't really care for black like that, but it'll be on my bookshelf and no one will see it directly since it's a bookend, it'll be faced this way, books will be in between it, no one's gonna see it. Five star item, for sure. And I think that's also Caravel because it's circus themed. I don't know. Is this whole entire box a Caravel box? And then naturally we have book art. Ooh, this bookmarker is so elegant. It's just a very lovely bookmark. I find it whimsical and lovely. I don't know where, the, where this is from, but she is a redhead. Okay, think of redheaded characters that would wear a pink whimsical gown. I can't think of any. I don't know which, where this is from. And we have another one. Oh, this looks like a warrior. Yeah, I don't know where this one's from either, but they're really pretty. You guys know me and my book art. It's like one of the main reasons why I buy book boxes. <gasps> the sun, the moon. Oh, these are beautiful. Who are these characters? Right off the bat, I can't think of who they are, but I like their character art. Who are you guys? Okay, time to tap into the spoiler card. It's quite beautiful. It's very circus. Very circus. It's giving me circus vibes. This is a face tell from Night Circus. Oh, I was right. This is Aaron Morganson's Night Circus. Cool. And then Caravel book sleeve. Also cool. Carousel books um, bookends. Just inspired by the fact that it's uh, the theme of the month. If you're really into circuses, I am not. You would really like this box. Uh, I never would have guessed this, but this is Aphrodite and Aries. Collectible bookmarks. The mythology series that Fairy Lou is doing. I don't actually ever use bookmarks these days anymore. I pretty much just use my, I pretty much just use my tabs as my bookmark. The one we've all been waiting for. What book is this? Oh, ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. The, the peekaboo is giving. She's giving. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Can we just take a moment for those end pages? I have no clue what month this is. Cruel illusions, win or die. 
Wow, this is a really beautiful book. Wait, I just remembered. Fairloot was releasing a book or a book box that featured a book that was um, in Scandal. I don't remember what the Scandal was or what it's about or people were canceling their month. Let me figure out what month this book was from because I think it was the November box. Okay, this is the December box. So I wonder if that's my November box. No one's more confused than I am. Okay, well, a deadly competition, a magical secret society, a chance for revenge. It's a revenge book, you guys. Should we start off the new year with some revenge? I don't know. This is nice. The end pages alone is like chef's kiss, but like the matte black dust jacket with the red foiling, minimalistic, but like statement. Even the in the background, I can't even show this to you guys. It's like a matte gray. Oh, I can. I can show it to you guys. It's a matte gray kingdom. That's nice. Okay. When I take off the dust jacket, what does the hardback look like? Oh, and there's character art. Okay, let me just look at the dust jacket first. Oh, I like this. Okay. Elegance. I love this minimalistic characteristic style that they have placed on the front cover. I hope this is a fantasy romance, you guys, because this is giving. It's just beautiful. Please don't be beautiful but boring, because like I've been DNFing a lot of books and just like in a book slump for like the past like six months, honestly. And I want this to give. Like, look at it. It's just beautiful. Cruel Illusions. This is Cruel Illusions. It's a gorgeous book. The, it has texture, like, I like it. I really like it, you guys. I really like it. I might read it. Oh, it is pen signed naturally. Character art, character art. You guys know me and my character art. You better be good. You better give. You better, you better be it for me because this looks really nice. I'm really happy that this beautiful book potentially doesn't have drama around it. I don't know. I haven't been on Bookstagram in a while or Book Talk in a while. I last checked in for the whole for the whole Babel situation, but um, I was on vacation and I was just like, "What?" Opens TikTok and it's just like Babel drama everywhere. That one reviewer. Anyway, we have our lovely character art. I really like this. She's so chill, minimalistic and chill. And of course, we have the fairy scoop. Come one, come all. The December 2022 fairy scoop. Oh, I like this. Describe Cruel Illusions in five words. Macabre. I don't know. Whimsical, romantic, bloody, fun. Is this a vampire circus romance? As long as this, as long as this does not give Night Circus, I'll be happy. As long as it has more character depth than Carvel, I'll be happy. As long as it brings all the imagery that I feel like I need for a circus type book. And the romance where we'd be popping off equal dual plot romance with plot. I will be happy with this book. Okay, so far I really like this box. I give it, it's a four star box for me. This has moved up on my TBR list, which is like at this point an infinite list of many, many books. I actually should compile every single book that I want to read and put it on a list and see how far it goes. Cause some of them are just in my head some of them are physically on a list some of them are like drifting thoughts that i remember but then forget but then remember then forget if i really were to compile it how long is my tbr it's kind of scary right i already know it's in, it's at least 500 books at least so that's that's frightening in itself in and of itself because i can only read about 93 to because your girl i don't think has time to read all those books since i was on vacation i shipped a lot of the stuff i bought while I was out of town to my house. Don't remember everything I bought, but I remember some of it. Yeah, let's unbox them. Oh, I think this is my perfume. And honestly, it smells like it, it broke. No, 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 no. Oh, it smells so good, but I think it broke. So it was bubble wrapped a few times, but may have broken oh look how lovely it looks it looks like a little gift and i like it it's so pretty so i definitely ordered perfume i bought perfume when i was out of town and this is it this is from joel malone i am getting into my fragrance air deeper and deeper and i just love it look at that box please don't be broken 
Oh, it's not broken, but there's no holder in here. It's just paper, so it's just banging around in the box this entire time. It's not broken. It's not broken, so I'm happy. This is a really nice box. I got the Jo Malone wood and sage scent, and I even engraved it with my name. I chose to do Jo Malone because they have really good ethics when it comes to the ingredients they put in their product, and I do not like fail aids or parabens and stuff like that, especially for something that's going to touch my skin. I try to avoid them getting better at it. It's a process, but... This is wood, sage, and sea salt. It is like a fresh, woodsy scent, and I really like it. It has some powder in it. It is so good. Oh, it smells so nice. It's just different, and I like it. I am very much a woodsy gal, so under the tree you go. I know what this is. Okay, you guys. You guys are going to freak. I forgot I got this. It was one of those last minute things that my husband's like, you're never gonna be here. Well, not that you're never gonna be here, but what's the likelihood you're gonna be in the keys to buy this again anytime soon? So I was like, I should buy it. Okay, so while I was in Florida, I went to the keys and I went to the Butterfly Conservatory. I highly recommend going there. It is a magical experience. If you are a whimsical person, if you think one day that you will qualify to be a woodland spirit, then you should go there as a preliminary thing for training. But look, you cannot tell me this isn't beautiful. <gasps> this is so beautiful. Like, I got these two, it looks like red, burnt orange butterflies while I was at the conservatory. It is lovely. It comes in their own little glass crate. And this isn't glass, this is like plastic, but they're safe inside there. They're beautiful. They are literally gorgeous. I'm in love. If you are somewhat butterfly obsessed like I am, you would really love this. I got this, my husband really just inspired me to get this. This was expensive and I was like, I'm not getting one because I got one for my mom and I got one for his mom for Christmas. And I was like, I'm not gonna get one for myself. These are expensive. And he's like, get it. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> so I got it. Um, I was concerned about like animal cruelty in buying this item. I asked the people who work there, well, how do you get like these butterflies? Do you like just raise them up and then like you know and they're like no so since they run a butterfly conservatory they have all of these like butterfly nurseries and butterfly farms that they partner with so whenever a butterfly passes away they just collect them and put them in little boxes for preservation and I thought that was definitely more humane than what I was thinking of when I first walked into the shop I was like did they just raise a bunch of butterflies and killed them? But a butterfly life cycle is very short. So they said once the butterfly passes away, they just scoop them up from wherever they fell and they put them in these little glass jars. And since they partner with so many butterfly farms, butterflies pass away quite often. I think they only live for like, I think two weeks. And the next box is, I think also the keys. <sighs> I only got two things in the keys, but they're both really expensive. But it was like my vacation, so I'm justifying it in my heart somehow. I need to cut back though. Your girl is going on. I was about to say I'm going on a book buying ban, but I most certainly am not. Chain of Thorns is about to release, y'all, and I'm about to get my rec copy, which is like the copy that I tear up and I want to have the original copy as well, so I'm buying two copies of the same exact book and I also bought the special editions that are coming in. When I went to, oh yeah, I was supposed to say I'm, I'm supposed to go on a book ban, buying ban or save money or something. I need to probably save a lot of money. Anyway, this is what I got in the keys. This is a candle. Arr. This candle smells so good. This is Vita Life. 
so pretty, so elegant. Um, this is Fig Velveteer Cider. It is a 10 ounce candle, 60 hour burn. And it smells so good. It's from Vancouver. And that's what really inspired me to buy it because I love candles. I actually have a candle collection. Um, I started my own candle brand. Insert Aroma Art right here, y'all. And I really was surprised because I like I've never tried a candle from Canada. And while I was at this little shop, they had candles from Canada, I think Europe and like Spain and Paris. And I was so intrigued. I was like a kid in a candy store. So I was I was happy. But ah, uh, I loved how this smelled. And I was just like, ooh, that is good. That is such a good scent. And the box is so lovely. And listen to this, the Discovery Collection. Experience the thrill of creation. Awaken your senses and watch them unfold, leaving you high on life and its many gifts. Vita life. Oh gosh, this candle. <gasps> I don't think this is what it looked like in stores. In stores, it, it definitely did not look like this. I would, I would have remembered that. This is a beautiful candle. It's like an iridescent, and it has the brand and the name, Vancouver Candle Co. I thought the brand name was called Vita, though. Oh, I love the way this smells. Okay. I think this is paraffin wax, though, which is a concern for me. I try to avoid paraffin whenever I can. Wow. Oh, no, this is premium soy wax, but... A lot of premium soy wax brands will have a little bit of paraffin in it to get those nice smooth tops. I'm not sure if my camera will be able to pick this up, but look how smooth and milky that top looks like. 100% soy wax cannot do this. Like people have experimented, people have tried, but it really just cannot get this smooth and this creamy looking it will always look somewhat i'll show you my candle so this is my candle it's silver on my art anyway this is my candle over my art it is wooden wick this candle top hasn't been smoothed over but look at the imperfections this is what my candle looks like before i smooth out the top unfortunately i don't have any of them where the top is smooth and i do a coconut soy blend so I do coconut, 100% coconut wax and 100% coconut wax blended together. That is how I do mine. And even mine doesn't get as smooth. Like when I smooth out my tops, it does not get this smooth or this white. Mine is always an off beige, like eggshell color. This is white. So when they say premium soy wax, I think that wax has some type of blend, which you te technically, if it's below a certain percentage, you don't even have to say that it's blended with something else. You can say it's soy wax because probably it's like 96 or 97% soy wax, but there's like some food grade paraffin in it. Cause I've experiments, I have experimented with wax that is just like that. Let me go get it. I think I have those I can show you. Yes, yes indeed. So this is like, one of my testers experiments that I did when I was trying to pick the wax I wanted for my company. Look how smooth this wax is. It is so smooth. This is, a, this is soy wax. This is premium soy wax with food grade paraffin in it. A lot of candle brands don't do that. They will say that has some type of wax in it, but it won't be like 100% soy, 100% coconut. There's usually, to make it this creamy and consistent and flat, like that's kind of perfect, except for around the wick, because I was wiggling the wick around. I was doing lots of testing with this candle, so it's not like the most perfect example, but it's the only one I have to show you. I did not fix my tops on this candle, and it is this still creamy, luxurious wax. Versus this one, I never fix my top on it. I never tried to fix it at all. This is fully raw, freshly poured candle. And it has all these impure, like, it's not perfect, it's dented looking. Like you can see a shadow that it's dented. There's like frosting and it's just like, it doesn't look perfect. This one looks like this one. So that leads me to think 
that this has some food grade paraffin mixed into it so it's not 100% soy wax. But other than that, this thing smells so good. This did not look like this when I bought it. The box looked like this box, but the candle did not look like this candle. I'm gonna have to do further research on this candle overall, but the way this thing smells. Fig Velveteer Cider, you're a nice smell. Anyway, my assumption is that this is the November box, so this one may have controversy around it. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know much book controversy because I don't stay updated in the community enough. We shall see. Unboxed. Oh, okay. First things first. Kingdom of the Wicked mug. I read Kingdom of the Wicked. It's right there staring me in the face. It's not worth the hype. It just isn't. I feel like it's Gen Z's Twilight. I don't know. But that book was so predictable and the main character really bothered me. Yeah, I don't want this mug. Art style. Amazing. One, I don't really care for mugs as book items. But yeah, this is the first item. I'm going to give it a five star because it's practical and it's a good quality and I think this can go in the microwave and dishwasher. Do not microwave. Hand wash only. Never mind, I lied to you. This is dec decorative. Ooh, I'm pretty sure this is like some type of dagger knife thing from a character. Yep, it is. Oh, it's like a snake dagger. It's like a snake dagger with a gem. Those who may like it would like it. I don't really care for it. And how practical is this when you're fighting in your books? fictional characters because you can't just like hit them with a snake on a on a sword or can you the mythical magical world is becoming more interesting uh, five stars but I don't really care for it nor do I think I'm gonna keep it oh it's a pen spells grimoire pen I want to say discovery of witches but honestly I don't know where this pen is from y'all I don't know where this pen is from y'all I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You guys know me, I don't care about pins at all. So, zero stars. I'm not in a giving mood. Oh, oh, is this what I think it is? It looks like it. This looks like something. It's not what I thought it was, but oh, it's kind of dirty too. So, it's kind of dirty in this corner. I can't know if the camera will pick that up. But this is like a book. This is a book log. This is a book log. I love this item. You can do title, author, date read, some notes about it. And it looks like it's a moth on the cover. Very pretty. Then we have character art. Okay, we have the star. Pretty. The tower. I feel like this goes with last month's theme as well for December. I don't know. And this is indeed the November box. The Witching Hour, November 2022. Spoiler card. Foiled mug. The Wicked Kingdom. Meh. Brick Review Notebook. It's a review notebook. Nice. It's cottagecore witchy style. I like that. Letter opener. Inspired by Serpent and Dove? Really? I wouldn't have gotten that. I have Serpent and Dove. I haven't read it yet though. Spellbook pin. It doesn't come from a book. Oh, it's just a pin of a spellbook. And then the book of the month. The Ones We Burn by Rebecca Minks. It is a standalone witchy epic fantasy romance. But, um, ooh, this one has like a burnt orange color. So here's our art. We have a little human. We look like she has water powers. No, witchy powers. That's like smoke. Smoke or like. Let's just unbox this box. <laughs> I'm getting tired and hungry. Ooh. I like the art style of this. I don't know who this is though. And then we have the fairy scoop naturally. I don't really feel like reading this honestly. But we have some burnt orange peeking through and you guys know me and my color for burnt orange. I love burnt orange, green, blue, teals, yellows. I like earth tones with oomph. So this is the ones we burn. Okay, I think this might be the book that has controversy around it. I don't know, nor do I remember. I need to go on Instagram and figure out what's the in and what's the out and catch up on everything. Oh, it's ombre. That's cool. Once in a bounce. Oh, it has a 
signed sticky plate, a signature plate. The art style though is really cool. Oh, nice naked hardback. Da -da -da. Art style, very nice. Like, I wish I could draw like this. Wishes, dreams, aspirations. My envy for artists is hardcore. I am an artist, but I just can't draw. Like, okay, I can draw, but I just can't draw like this. And I always wanted to, you know? I always wanted to have like really nice, or a nice ability to draw. But I feel like I'm too impatient with myself. I have taught myself how to draw the year I got sick, but I haven't been practicing or keeping up, so. Can I really complain at this point? I should stop. Anyway, I'm not going to read the synopsis because I don't know what's really going on around this book. Uh, we do have some more nice artwork on the dust jacket. The dust jacket has nice artwork. But I just, I don't want to know about it if it's really controversial. So I'm not going to read the synopsis about it. I'm just going to figure out what's going on around this book first. It might take me a few weeks because this is old news. And I heard about this probably like the month or two before the November box was supposed to release. It was like somewhat leaked and there's controversy around it, so. I don't know, but anyway guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this unboxing. Happy reading. And be sure to subscribe and sign up to the Roma Art Newsletter. I'm gonna be dropping soon and I'm so excited. Happy reading y'all, bye.